I've set up a Word document that has a number of problems with table spacing, how much white space is in and around a table. And I'm going to walk you through in this video how to fix that in case you're experiencing any of these problems with your report. My name's Chris and this is Engineered Upgrade where I like to share the tools, tips and tricks that I've learned over the years as an engineer and a consultant to help you improve your uh, professional communications, your written communications, or even something as simple as report formatting, like in this video. I strongly believe, especially in the times where we can't meet up in person, that written communications are so important in a professional consulting or engineering scenario or anything else in the workplace. So I'm going to take you through how to make your tables look a bit nicer by eliminating some of that white space that you might be struggling with to hopefully improve the quality of your Word document overall. So follow along and hopefully we can uh, resolve any problems you're having with your tables as well. Now, I've put up on the screen here the table that I, I set up that's got a number of these problems that I'm going to fix. Now, the first one here is that the introductory sentence for a table, and I did another video where I explained when and how to use tables, uh, when it can be a good idea to improve your report with tables. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. Because the introductory sentence here that's recommended by professional style guides, it, there's too much space between this sentence and the table below. Now, uh, if you're experiencing this problem where there's too much space before your table, I'd like to look at the paragraph spacing of that line instead. So I know it's just one line, but it's called paragraph spacing. And I like to look at that spacing to try to resolve why there's so much white space between the table. Now, the first thing to look for is whether or not there's a new line there, whether or not there's an empty line. And in this case, it doesn't appear to be. Now, to find that out, come up here to the little paragraph marks button Click that marks button and it will highlight for you where there's uh, too many new lines. So for example, at the bottom of the table here, there's an extra line after the table uh, before the next sentence. Now that can be simply removed by clicking in the line and pressing the delete key to line that up. Now that, now that there's too little space between the table and this paragraph, but I'll get to that later on at the end of the video. Uh, so we come back up to our introductory sentence for this table and we want to make it come closer to the table. So if there's no new line after the paragraph, after that introductory sentence, then that implies that there's too much paragraph spacing. So we come up and click on this introductory sentence, and then we click on the paragraph settings button. Now, as you can see, the before spacing is set to six point, but the after spacing is set much higher. And that's going to, that's the difference between the sentence and the next thing that follows it, in this case, the table. So let's adjust that back down to six, click OK, and we can see that the table moves up and that white space is removed. So that's going to be the same thing if we start looking at the white space within the table where there's too much white space within the table. We can see that uh, in this last row, again, that there's a new line character inserted. You can see how uh, it doesn't look very nice in the table with, with all this white space before the text. So we knew from when the paragraph marks were on that there's an extra space here before this paragraph in this cell. So we can click on that, press delete, and it's resolved. However, uh, there's no similar white space. The white space in this second cell is not caused by a new line. Uh, from our earlier deduction, we know that this could be because of paragraph spacing. So we highlight or, or click into this paragraph click on the paragraph settings button. And again, you can see that the before spacing is far too high. We can adjust that down back to six point and click OK. And we've resolved those two spacing issues within the table. Now the last one, and I don't know if you can see it, it's a bit subtle, is where there's too much white space underneath a particular type of text. Now, this isn't actually due to white space, it's due to alignment. But hopefully you can see here in the first column that there's a lot of white space after the word switch. Oh, whoops, let me just cancel out of that. Let me turn off these marks and show you. There's a lot of white space after this word switch compared to stock and joint. Now that's because I've set the alignment to the top left for switch, but to the middle left for stock and joint. When I set up a table like this, where there's uh, some sort of a heading for the table and then a description and then uh, maybe some numbers on the other side or another piece of description, I like to use uh, middle left alignment. So uh, I'm going to change that for switch here to come over to layout and click the button here under alignment, align center left. And that moves the text down. So we've eliminated that white space 
but we've done so by using alignment. I did another video about how to set up tables in Word, how to take advantage of tables to display information to your client or to your audience in a really interesting or in a more interesting way, I should say to convey whatever message you're trying to do. I often find that people write big chunks of text in a report. It's very boring to read. It's very confusing to understand what's going on and it's completely not scannable. Imagine you're the busy executive sitting in an office and you want to scan through a consulting report quickly while you've only got a couple of minutes spare. You can't get to the point very quickly if all your information is buried in paragraphs. I like using lists and tables to try to sort that information out and Doing so in Word can be quite simple if you set up those table styles correctly. So I did another video about how to set that up, but I did promise one last thing in this video, in this video about the last line here where I've said, well, perhaps that's too close to the table. So one thing we can do is to come up to paragraph settings and to change the space before this sentence, make it a little bit, or just make it a little bit higher so that there's some sort of adjustment between the table and the following paragraph. Now there are alternative ways to do that if you fix the table, however, I don't recommend it. I did another video about setting up professional reports from scratch where you apply styles to each of the paragraphs or apply styles to the whole document, then keep each paragraph and heading, table, list and figure within those styles so that when you are writing a 10, 20 or 100 page report, it's quite simple to, to keep that report looking consistent because the first thing, if I was a client reading a report, as soon as I see inconsistency in the formatting, it just discredits whatever great information you put inside. So I highly recommend following along with that video. I'll leave a link in the description below. But if you're interested in other ways that Engineered Upgrade can help you, hit that like button uh, down below this video and YouTube will suggest to you other videos by me and by other people that will help improve your professional reports. If you're interested in more of what I have to say in particular, hit the subscribe button and follow along as I help you develop professional reports, professional communications, and lots of different ways you can improve in the workplace. So my name's Chris, and hopefully I'll see you in that next video.